Striking a balance between meaningful reform within police departments and ensuring the safety of communities remains a critical challenge in the United States. This challenge is particularly pronounced in Baltimore, Maryland, where public trust of police has diminished. In 2016, a U.S. Department of Justice investigation revealed that the Baltimore Police Department likely made thousands of unconstitutional arrests from 2010 to 2015, often under the guise of officer safety. That led to a federal consent decree, which mandates a series of court-ordered changes to policies, training, oversight, and accountability. Baltimore police leaders hope to prove that reducing crime and police reform are not mutually exclusive. This is showing, not just here in Baltimore, but across these United States of America, that you can reduce crime and violence in a city, but you don't have to overly criminalize the community and you can police in the right way, a constitutional way. Crime data in Baltimore shows a downward trend. Violent crime and property crime have both decreased, while homicide rates are down 17 percent. The latest oversight assessment shows a significant reduction in civil liberties being violated in 2022. It also showed that the Baltimore Police Department has made improvements since revising its policies and training. With the rise of body cams and cell phones, police are under increased pressure to remain calm in potentially triggering situations. To combat this, officers are now trained to regulate emotions by understanding the connections between thoughts, feelings, and actions. A training officer told AP News that police experience repeated trauma, which can result in hypervigilant behavior. Understanding that trauma is an important step in self-regulation and gaining public trust. But we also have to constantly be doing more community policing, being out in the community, investing on the front end. This is why we're putting historic uh, uh, levels of investment into recreation and parks and programming for our young people so that we're doing the both and that we're offering opportunities for people to change their life through our group violence reduction strategy. As reform continues under the consent decree, challenges remain for Baltimore Police Department and its citizens. Baltimore homicide rates remain one of the highest in the nation, despite the downward trend, while gun violence against children and teens has risen in 2023. All this as the city grapples with a worsening officer shortage. Earlier this year, the police union claims the Baltimore Police Department was at least 700 officers short of a full staff.